You asked for it and we're going to give it to you. Today on FrenchPressCoffee.com, we're showing you how to replace the mesh filter in your French press. Might seem a little too simple to some folks out there, but believe me, this can be a little complex, especially if you've never done it before. If you're new to the world of French press, so we thought, why not show you how to do it? This is super simple. We're going to take our French press and we'll pull our plunger, we'll set our French press aside. Now, you're going to notice on this French press that I've got, uh, my filter is maybe starting to get a little worse for wear. We're going to take this apart. All I'm going to do is grab the plunger right here and just start turning counterclockwise until this comes apart. And you can see it fell right to part for me. All right, so we'll take the top part of our filter assembly. We'll set that aside and then we're going to remove our mesh filter. Now, this is a great filter. This is one of the ones that, that you can get at frenchpresscoffee.com. It's got a metal ring right here on the inside. It, you may find on some of your French presses that they don't have that and their your filter is starting to rip. It's another good reason to go ahead and replace them. Now, what we're using here as a replacement filter is a uh, original replacement filter for our Bodum French press that we have, but we do have universal filters at frenchpresscoffee.com as well. So you can check those out at the website. So again, just comparing side by side, you can see the differences between these just because obviously I've got new here and old over here. So again, we'll set aside the old and now super simple. Just take this and assembly is the reverse of taking it apart. And again, notice that the filter just kind of sits as a disc and it's very wide. Don't worry about it, that's okay. We're gonna put this guy back together, take our plunger, screw everything back together. Make sure you get it tight. And one thing I will note that I will note for you is that I always find that as I use my French press, this gets a little loose. So every once in a while when I clean, I just make sure it's tight. So make sure that's tight. And now you can, if you want to, just kind of give it a little, little love around the edges there and start to fold that up. But it doesn't have to be perfect and here's the reason why. Take your French press and then just simply take your plunger and press down. And you can do this a couple, three times. You're gonna notice it starts to take the shape then that you would expect. And then you have installed a brand new clean mesh filter. This is going to make sure that you're going to get, again, a really great cup of coffee every single time. So if you want to order a new filter for your French press, you're going to need to measure your French press. Now, as I mentioned, we have original parts at frenchpresscoffee.com that you could use for, let's say, your Bodum French press, other French presses, but we also have universal filters. Either way, this is going to be the same process because you need to measure your French press, make sure you've got that measurement, and then you're going to use that data in order to pick the right filter. So let's show you how. I've got just a handy dandy ruler here, and we'll measure the inner diameter of our French press. And I have a much smaller one here right now. So the inner diameter of the French press I have right here is about two and a half inches. So then what I'm going to do, I have just happened to have the proper replacement filter right here. But if I measure my replacement filter, I'm going to find that this is going to come in at just about two and three quarters. So the rule of thumb here is going to be add an extra quarter to your filter size from the inner diameter of your French press. So again, I have a French press here that's about two and a half inches, so I'm going to be using a replacement filter that's about two and three quarter inches. This is going to make sure that I get the just very most minuscule amount of gap between the edge of my filter and the inner edge of my French press. That makes sure, again, that when you press down with your plunger, you don't get coffee grounds that seep up around the sides of your filter. So use that rule of thumb and you'll be able to get the perfect filter to fit your French press every single time. And there you have it, everyone. I, I, as I said, this was going to be simple, but notice we used a little bit of science there, and that's because there is always a little bit of science to a really great cup of coffee. So uh, I hope that you uh, all found this useful. Now, if you have questions, if you have comments, anything like that, make sure to get in touch in the comment section of this video. If you'd liked it, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And of course, visit us at frenchpresscoffee.com where you can get the replacement filters for your French press, get a new French press, get all kinds of coffee goodies. That's at frenchpresscoffee.com. As always, everyone, I'm Brian. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Take care. So did you like that video? Well, if so, give us a like, maybe subscribe to our channel. And if you do, I'll give you a great coffee quote. It's okay, I'll wait. There you go. Thank you so much. And now for the great quote, caffeine, it's not a drug, it's a vitamin.